remember this. It's going to be 27 in the morning. I'm running my heaters overnight just to, you know, keep it 45 or 50 in here. Tomorrow I'm going to come out and uh, clean up. I've made a pretty big mess in here and just left it. And uh, I've got this. Let me tell you about this machete. This is the Gerber Gator Bolo. This is my favorite machete. And let me tell you, I have used a machete more than most people will use a machete in their whole life. And I've tried, golly, at least a half a dozen, dozen different types and brands and styles. More than that, actually. I have a video where I review six or seven of them, but I've tried way more than that. And this is the one that I think is the best of all of them. The only thing I don't like is the handle's a little bit slippery when you sweat, which is why they put this lanyard on it so you can wrap it around your wrist. And it does not come with a very good edge. So they stopped making these for about two years, and I was really disappointed because, uh, you know, like I say, it, it's uh, just an amazing machete. If you use a machete a lot for... It's part axe. It's that heavy that you can chop trees down with it. Uh, you could baton with this. I mean, it is a great all-around machete. I have actually cut a six-inch tree down with that just to see if I could. So uh, I'm going to give this away when I reach 60,000. Um, my channel is growing far, far slower than it was oh, just six months ago. And my views have gone down significantly, and subsequently my Google revenue has gone down, but that's okay. It's, uh, you know, life is full of ups and downs, and I suppose Google is too. So it's probably going to be much longer before I reach 60,000 than I thought. But what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm also going to be giving away a knife, and I believe that's one of these bottom ones is a knife I plan on giving away. So that's what I want to talk about. Right now, I'm going to cut this carefully out of the package. I'm going to put a good working edge on this. I mean, it'll be sharp enough to shave with, but it'll be at the proper bevel for a chopping edge. And then I'm going to seal it back up, tape it up, and then 60,000 subscribers, I'm going to give this away and a homemade BC knife, BC blade. Uh... I'm going to have to find another way to finish these knives. I cannot continue to sand them uh, to the degree that I have. I'm having so much trouble. This thumb, I won't go back into the story. I broke it. I set it myself because I was out in the bush. And uh, I didn't set it right. And I ended up having to have surgery on it a couple years later. And I can move it, but it pops and cracks and hurts like a mf and i've got fingers cut off fingers broke fingers sewed back on i've got fingers that broke on this hand this one in particular broke twice and now i've got my thumb and my wrist that are killing me over here non-stop 24 7 i live on ibuprofen so i'm gonna have to figure out another finish that I can put on these knives that's appealing and long-lasting. And uh, I, I can bring these all to a satin finish. I just can't polish them anymore. And by satin, I mean uh, 600 grit, you know, and there's still going to be some scratches in them. I just, I don't have it in my hands to, uh, to do it anymore. So I'm going to have to step my finish back in order to continue making knives. And that's all I wanted to say. I'm going to be out here tomorrow. I'm leaving my heaters on overnight. First thing in the morning, I'm coming out here. I'm going to clean, give my shop a good cleaning because winter is officially here. And uh, I'll probably be spending a lot of time out here. And uh, I just put a video up about my coffee maker. Let me close this door because I won't be coming back tonight. And uh, I have not cleaned this thing. 
I'm right now I'm, I'm uh, going to run vinegar through it. You wouldn't believe how much this little bit of weight here, how much that is killing my wrist. It's, it feels like it's 50 pounds. That's how bad my wrist is killing me. So I'm running vinegar through this uh, coffee maker. I'm gonna run one more through it and then the next one I'm gonna let set in there. And uh, here's the, the thing I wanna tell you. I'm quitting coffee. I drink fake sugar. As a matter of fact, I've already thrown my fake sugar away and my cream. And uh, what I'm trying to do is eliminate everything that I don't have to put in my body. You know, fake sugar, even though it's Splenda, that's still terrible for you. And, uh, you know, I can't just drink one copy, coffee. Here's the thing. When I smoked, I smoked three packs a day. When I smoked pot, I would buy an ounce and I would smoke an ounce. When I drank, I would buy a, a fifth and drink a fifth. So I have no, there's no one cup or just have a beer or smoke a joint. There's none of that with me. I, I don't know why. I have finally, finally started uh, dealing with my weight and uh, I'm down to 285, which, you know, still is a huge number. But compared to what I was, uh, for the first time in a long time, I have a little space in my fat guy bib overalls. And I'll be giving my 5X shirts away, which are brand spanking new, uh, probably in a couple of months. So I'm eliminating coffee uh, for two reasons. I've been having a little trouble sleeping, getting good sleep. And I use fake sugar and cream. And cream has, you know, calories and, and uh, carbohydrates, carbohydrates in them. And I'm eliminating carbs or minimizing carbs. And the fake sugar is just not good for me. So rather than say, well, I'll just have one cup. I can't do it. I'm just going to stop drinking coffee. And not right now. now. I've cut myself now for like a week now. I've only had two cups a day. And I'm allowing myself one Mountain Dew a day, but the last two days I haven't even drank a Mountain Dew. So I've got by on two cups of coffee a day for the last two days and two cups of coffee and a Mountain Dew for about a week. So I'm only telling you this just because, you know, I've invited y'all into my life and you know so much about me. I thought I'd tell you this too. So when I clean this out, I'm going to let this sit with vinegar in it tomorrow. I want to come here tomorrow morning. I'm going to clean it out the rest of the way and then flush it with water and put it away because uh, my wife still drinks coffee and she drinks one cup a day. She can stop herself at one cup. And when that one in the house breaks, which is a Cuisinart, Cuisinart, Cousinart, uh, and it's very expensive and I've hated it ever since we bought it. It was, uh, you know, one of them things you buy that you regret. But this is not. Uh, we'll hang on to this, and when that one breaks, we'll just put this one in. Plus, it takes up less space. Okay, that's all I wanted to tell you. I'm at 285. Uh, Thursday, which was Thanksgiving and Friday, I got off my diet. I ate like a pig. And, uh, yes, there was apple pie involved two days in a row. But I really believe I can stay on this. For some reason, I have... Uh, a motivation that I haven't had before. Some of it is because uh, I come from a family with diabetes in it. My father died from complications from diabetes. And because of my weight, I am pre-diabetic, which is kind of a wake-up call. So uh, I believe I, I will be able to stop taking my metformin, another probably 40 or 50 pounds, and I'll be able to stop uh, taking my metformin. I've been testing my blood sugar and the other day I was at 116 and the other day I was at 96. That's with metformin. So that's pretty good. And I'm only taking a thousand milligrams a day. So if I could maybe cut back to 500 milligrams a day and still stay close to that 100 number, 
uh, and then, you know, another 30 pounds just to eliminate it. And that's what I'm working towards. Uh, I just want to live a healthier life, and I really believe that the times we are headed into, I don't want to get political. I've done that enough. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to go back into that shop and be happy and peace and have peace of mind and feel good inside. And I've told you the problems I've had uh, with what's going on in the world. And I'm trying to make my world smaller, the world that I care about. My God, I've talked 10 minutes. I'm trying to make the world that I care about smaller so I can be happier. And I believe if I improve my health and lose some of this weight or most of this weight, if I can get around 200, I'll be a, a happier person because I won't hurt so bad. And I believe a lot of my, you know, as my back has gotten worse and worse, I have spinal stenosis, which just means it's only gonna get worse. But I know that if I can get this weight off of me, carrying a, an extra 100 pound person around, uh, if I can get to 200 pounds, I will feel so much better. And there's a lot of other motivation, you know. Uh, my wife has lost some weight. She's a skinny mini now, and we have motorcycles, and uh, I don't even want to see what I look like on that motorcycle. I know I probably look silly, but uh, it's fun, and uh, I'm in the process of losing weight. So if people look and see a huge fat guy in a motorcycle and laugh, well, come back a year from now. <laughs> okay, that's enough talking. I'm going to run one more cup of white vinegar through that and then let it set overnight. See you tomorrow. I have uh, converted from DeWalt over to Makita. And the only thing I missed from all my DeWalts was the uh, battery-powered grease gun, and I finally bought me a Makita. That's not what this video is about. This video is about this saw and this saw. These are both the recipro reciprocating sawzall type of saws this one is a fantastic little saw it has cut and cut and cut and i have used the hell out of this saw this one is an absolute piece of crap and uh let me show you the model number just so you don't make the mistake of buying this xrj01 what a hunk of crap absolute hunk of crap this thing has no power, and the stroke, the stroke is so short, you're using, you know, a half a dozen teeth on this thing, and that's it. I mean, it, you know, this has a long stroke. You can see where the stroke is, and this wouldn't even use uh, three-eighths of an inch, maybe half an inch of, uh, of teeth. Yeah, it, I don't, it, it cuts nothing. It won't even cut wood, branches and stuff, which is what I got it for was so I could use it one-handed. Yeah, I mean, it's a good idea. If it worked, this would be great. You can use it that way. You can use it this way. But it doesn't work. So I thought, well, you know, I'll put a pruning blade in it and let my wife use it to uh, prune trees and stuff like that. It won't even work for that. It's really, it's complete junk. I was... Uh, yeah, I was very unhappy with this. And that's the only thing I've been unhappy with the Makita line so far. And besides the fact that they have been promising to come out with a grease gun, but they haven't. Otherwise, I'd have a 18 volt. Since I have a mountain of batteries, I'd have an 18 volt grease gun instead of having to buy a Makita. Alrighty, I'm going to drink my coffee. Piece of crap. Really good. <laughs>